Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Travel Mob broadcast. I'm delighted today. I'm actually in the United States, but I'm actually going to be interviewing someone from Columbus, Ohio. And who knew that Columbus Pizza was famous? But this man did. And uh, there is now a Columbus Pizza Trail. And so good morning to Tony from Gatto's Pizza in Columbus, Ohio. Good morning, Tony. Morning. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Good. Tony, um, the Columbus Pizza Trail, it's been going for a couple of years now, I think. Whose idea was it? Um, actually, I think it was a number of people over the years. My understanding is uh, my wife and I, there are times of these trails in Columbus that they did. There was like an ale trail and a, I think a coffee trail. Um, so her and I kind of talked about it and we reached out to the experienced Columbus people. And they were like, well, that's funny you brought that up because another gentleman, we've been trying to work with him um on doing one over the years it just hasn't kind of materialized so i think there's a number of people that did it um the gentleman's name is jim ellison he actually wrote a book uh on pizza in columbus like the history of pizza in columbus and he him and, and myself and then the experienced columbus people kind of put it all together uh, you're not taking all the credit then no i won't take all the credit he he is the uh the master of it i know the history of my place um which is 70 years now 70 plus years but not um not all the history uh jim is very helpful um if you ever need something interesting he's got a lot of history on columbus pizza so oh. so let's open pandora's box here what's so special about columbus pizza is it the shape the size the flavor or all three yeah it's uh it's kind of a little bit of everything um i think a lot of it stems from uh the italian kind of immigrants that came in and then the kind of what that was available to them so uh columbus pizza is cut in squares that's the biggest thing people notice and also the biggest thing that i uh uh have to i'll say work through when people request it in pie shape cuts instead of square cuts um that's probably the most noticeable people and it's also very thin and uh like a cracker crust versus kind of i call it the new york style of like a big triangle that's foldable and kind of floppy um kind of style um so those are the biggest things and the sauce is kind of vary a little bit uh the other thing um my understanding at least is that it usually is actually a mix for the cheese it's a mix of mozzarella and provolone alone was easier to get and a lot of places especially some old school places still grind their own provolone cheese as their topping so that's kind of a little bit different everything's a little bit different but those are the basic um things and how many restaurants are in the trail oh geez um i can't remember off the top of my head it's like 15 or 20 um all independent places um with a few kind of, of the bigger chains that have a couple of their stores in there but for the most part it's it's all um kind of independent stores and they have a couple of stores at this point uh, or a couple locations uh, but there's, I think there's like 15 off the top of my head, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. So with 15 to 20 pizza restaurants in this tra trail, then competition must be fairly strong between the pizza restaurants. And does he, does many of the restaurants have their own variations on a, on a Columbus pizza, you know, this secret ingredients that you're never going to give away sort of thing. Yeah. I think uh, that's the best thing about, uh, I think pizza too, is, is everybody likes a little bit different. We all uh like pizza like nobody's going to argue that at that point the pizza is good you may argue how you like your pizza and so i think all the shops have taken that kind of into account like i said i said like a cracker crust but i think some are more crackery than others some are really really thin i would say ours is kind of like a medium uh on it and then also what kind of makes us a little bit unique um there's one other shop in town that does it the same way when we make like our sausage we make it like in a meatloaf and then we slice it on like a deli slicer really thin so it's in like sheets almost um versus like crumbling it all up and putting it in. so we make our own sausage like i said like mix we take the pork spice mix put it all together cook it off and then we slice it up there so everybody's got their own little spin on it um sauces usually too i've talked to a number of guys that worked in different shops and it's it's interesting to know that a lot of times the base layer of sauce is kind of the same but everybody kind of i'll say doctors it up a little bit different again like you said puts their own little spice blend or their own little twist on the the sauce itself excellent now i noticed that it's uh the october is national pizza month does that make any difference to your sales do people think oh yeah it's national pizza month i'm going to come along and and i eat even more pizza yeah i think so there's all there's always a national 
something day. And it always like there's pie day, which is March 14th, 3.14. So that usually gets us a little boost that day, depending on the day and, um, and kind of that kind of stuff. Uh, but October is always busy for us because around here we got American football. And so that's always just crazy. Everybody gets pieces, you have big parties, especially if your team's out of town. Um, here, the college team's Ohio State. So if they've got a night game or a away game, like, and everybody's watching it on TV, like, that always is a big boost uh, for, for pizza. So I, fr- I would say Friday and Saturday are always good days. doesn't matter what's going on. And for, for visitors coming into town, um, going on the pizza trail, I saw that there's certain incentives. So if you go to at least four, you get a T-shirt. If you go to... 10 you get a pizza cutter and things like that are they are they still around is that those sorts of incentives still around yeah so they have there's a like a check-in uh code that you use at every store uh every store has one so you check in and then the um the app the 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 experience columbus people really they keep track of all your different ones and that's how you get your your prize there so um yeah the pizza cutter we've had a few people that have mentioned that they had gotten that um i threw out other ideas i like the the idea of a pizza paddle or really even a pizza bag would be neat like a hot bag because you're trying all this pizza you know then you you can take some home with you in a hot bag so uh, but yeah those are definitely still around okay final question tony if you had to choose one pizza from your own restaurant what's your favorite pizza which one are you going to go home with and see ohio state i would say i and I think a lot of people, especially people in the pizza industry, um, would agree that less is more. And I um, I really love just a good, I do a lot of times a half pepperoni, half cheese. Like keep it simple. I would say if you can't do that right, then you're not going to do your other pizzas right. Um, so my wife really enjoys this, what her pizza is. She likes um, our classic pepperoni, which is um, a really thin pepperoni and it cups up and it kind of crisps up almost like bacon. Um, and she likes onions and banana peppers and bacon. So we get that a lot. Cause I just defer to her, um, usually <laughs> on most things, but it's a good pizza. That's the one thing with the, the Columbus style. It is thinner. So I do try to tell people like, don't go crazy. Cause it's not the whole point is to be kind of crispy and crunchy. And so sometimes it gets a little overloaded, uh, in my, in my opinion. So I always say less is, is more. I think it just cooks better and it tastes better. And presumably no pineapple on pizza. I I think it's a travesty, but, uh, <laughs> but I mean, we do it all the time. My staff eats it all the time. Uh, one of the, one of the, the girls, actually a customer brought it to us. She does um, anchovy and pineapple on a pizza, but she does it with our white pizza, which doesn't have sauce. It's more like a, a focaccia bread. You put olive oil and vinegar or olive oil and oregano and Parmesan cheese and garlic and stuff like that. And then pineapple. So, but I think it's a salty, sweet combo, and people love it. Okay. Well, very best of luck uh, in the up-and-coming uh, hot months and the and indeed the cold months when the football and NFL and college football start. So thanks very much for your time, Tony. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thanks very much, Graham. Cheers. Bye-bye. Uh-huh, bye. Bye.